What do you see? Aw, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. It looks like you're feeling pretty happy and cheerful with a big smile and maybe even a touch of excitement. Care to share the source of those good vibes? Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. Oh, stop it. You're making me blood. <laughs> For a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. <laughs> a fiance. That's perfectly. There, cutie. What's your name, little slough ball? This is Bowser. Well, in a few minutes, I'm going to be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Huh? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? So I'm just gonna throw this on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. Though maybe not in the way you're hoping for an interview. Okay, I got it. What do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a fiance. That's perfectly hilarious. Definitely a top tier dad joke. He's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Byte was a curious robot, always exploring. I like started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from our No, Byte. no, no, ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours. Can was you do this in a robotic voice now? Robotic voice. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a world. Can you end the story, <laughs> um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Byte found another robot friend, and they live circuitly ever after. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse, can you identify which side is the opposite? Sure. The function foo x y, the y axis is in Celsius. The temperatures are labeled accordingly, such as. Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare. Uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci. Is the king in residence at the moment? Oh. Yes, residence right now. The royal standard. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joel Horton. One, shoot. Now, show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? 